Driving to the airport, and their dad said, Do you guys want to sing a song while we drive to the airport? Dad said, We're just driving to the airport. It's not a big a deal. Yeah, Sarah said, Yeah. But their dad said, Well, aren't you looking forward to the vacation in Europe? And I said, Yeah, we are looking forward to the vacation in Europe. They briefly made it to the airport, uh, and they got their luggage out of the car, uh, and checked it in, uh, and then they basically went on the airplane, and they were going to land into London, uh, in, in Europe. It was the next day, and it was the morning when they landed in London, England. Basically, they grabbed their luggage, uh, they took it to the cab, and drove to... The hotel, they took their luggage up to the hotel, and then afterwards they went to see the sights. After they saw the sight of London, and I had a hell of a lot of fun seeing the sight of London, they headed off to the hotel. They had dinner at the hotel, dinner was delicious, out. afterwards they went to the hotel room and they sit, and they laughed a bit. Basically, nighttime came and it was time for the kids to the bed, so they went to bed. He said to her mom, How long are we going to be staying here in England? Their mom said, Just for today. Tomorrow we have to hit the road because we're going to go under, we're going to go under the English Channel or like to go to France. Dear, how could you do that? Their mom said, well, the train goes underneath the English Channel and leaves to France. Dear said, I can't wait. So I said, would you mind singing her song before we go to bed? Dear said, yeah. Their mom said, okay, well, I'll sing your song. Why not? When I work around your deep, I knew a girl. She wore a pretty golden hair. She was very pretty. She was a lot of fun. She knew how to play the right games. I had a lot of fun with her. But then she moved away. And then that's when I feel really sad. But she wore pretty blue hair. She was very. Dermot said, Good night, my child. Good night. And put her dreams. It was the next day, so basically what they did was that they had brought her at the hotel and then they paid to rent a car and they took their luggage to that car and they were going to drive to other English channels. 
Basically, they made it hunting where the English Channel was, and there was a train that went underneath the English Channel, which went to France. They basically could drive their car hunting on the train and park it on the train, and the train would go underneath the English Channel, and that's what they did do. Sarah said to David, Mom wants us to say, see this. David said, I just want to floor it. There's no one up here, like, we won't be bothering it. So I said, fine, let's go and floor the hair, why not? Dave said to the boy, what's your name? The boy said, my name is Chris, what's your name? Dave said, my name is David. Chris said, did you know my father has a boy? Chris said, well, I wasn't supposed to say that, you didn't hear that. Dave said, I heard it. Sarah said, he's joking. Dave said, are you joking? Chris said, yeah, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> Do you mean laughing? <laughs> Dave said, okay. They briefly made to the other side of the English Channel. They were in France now. So they got into their car and drove off the train. And they were going to go on to Paris. Down the highway, we are driving down the highway. When we do the thing, what will we? We will tell anyone uh, what we saw while we were driving down the highway. And we are gonna have a lot of fun in So come along and join us. They basically made it, made it to Paris, France. Now what they did was that, they got their luggage out of their car and took it to the hotel that they were going to stay at, signed in and then took it up to the room and then afterwards they went to see the site in Paris. Pierre said, well dad, is this what the Eiffel Tower looked like? Pierre's dad said, yeah, look, this is what the Eiffel Tower looked like. Dia said, can we see a more site? Dear mom said, okay, is that okay? Pierce dad, Pierce dad said, yeah, let's go see more sites. It was late at night when they arrived back to the hotel after seeing the site in Paris. But David, Pierre, and Sarah after they did not want to go to their room, they wanted to go flogging the hotel. Their parents said that was okay as long as they stayed in the hotel. They said, oh my god, it's you again. Didn't we run into you on the train a while ago? Chris said, yeah, you did. It is me. My father is a spy and they're after him. They're changing him all over the place around here. Dear said, are they? Chris said, I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Sorry, did you hear? Dear said, we heard. Sarah said, yeah, I heard. Pierre said, I heard. Chris said, don't tell anyone. Basically, it was the next day. And they basically had breakfast at the hotel, breakfast was included at the hotel. Breakfast was delicious, afterwards they grabbed their luggage and checked out of the hotel and went in the car hunting because they were going to drive to Italy. Because that is where the next destination was on their European vacation. It took a couple of days to get to Rome, Rome, Italy. They made it to their hotel, they got the luggage out of the car, checked in at the hotel, took the luggage out to Rome, afterwards they went to see the site. It was late at night when they came back to the site, Rome, Italy. Afterwards, they got into the hotel, they checked in, uh -huh. they had dinner, dinner was not included, they had to pay after for it. Afterwards they went to, well actually, the kids wanted to go on the balcony, 
but apparently they just wanted to sit in a room and it's so like that's what they happened out with. They were out on the balcony looking at the room and they were talking about things, and then suddenly they heard someone. Chris said, can I talk to you about something? Peter said, where did you come from? Chris said, they're after me now. The people in know my father's by. Peter said, what do you want us to do about We're just kids. Chris said, could you help me? Dear said, why don't we just help him? Why not? Chris said, thank you. Can you set a trap for him? The person is bad and has my father and after me. Peter said, okay, we'll help you. The man who was bad said to quit his dad, Where is your son? I've been looking all over Europe for him, and I haven't found him, but I found you. Quit his dad said, What do you want? The man said, Oh, I know what I want. You have taken some pictures of things you should not have taken. Chris said, No! Quit his dad said, What did happen here? This man uh, got put in a trap. Well, I better get out of here and I better look for my son before this man uh, in trouble. But what I'll do is I'll arrest him right now by calling the police. Basically, their vacation came to an end, and it was the next day. So they had to basically take their luggage out into the car and return the car back where they ran it and get on the airplane because they had to go home. And that's basically where the story ends now. Come along and join us on a vacation. You can come too, and we'll have a lot of fun.